Hi everybody um, and welcome to part 9 of this tutorial um, building a website from scratch um, just before we go any further I have made one change um, to the background color here I didn't like the green that was in it, it was a bit too uh, too bright so what I've done is I've toned it down just a little bit um, so you can see if I go to the nav here you can see that the hex code is there um, so in order to change that it's just a matter of manipulating this background color here uh, so what I did was if you go in there and you can go into the system color picker and you can actually move this slider to darken or lighten the color so that's essentially what I did there um, so let's get back to the to um, what we're going to do from now on. So what, what the plan is today or for this tutorial is to um, add in the content uh, to our content right area which will be the main area where our uh, text is going to be contained. So I'm going to go ahead and make a line break here. And The first thing we want to put in is our uh, heading um, now in order to put a heading in it has to be surrounded by heading tags and there's a few ways to go about this there are a couple of shortcuts um, for Dreamweaver um, you can press control and one and it'll automatically create the tags for you um, with the cursor in the middle or you can just go ahead and type them in um, if you type them in as you can see if I go ahead and type in the H1 tag and the second I go and do the forward slash it automatically closes the tag for me so our heading uh, is basically going to be uh, Bertie's that's going to be our heading um, now heading is quite important when it comes to search engines the H1 and H2 tags are some of the first things that are indexed by Google when they're going through your site so it's it's quite important that your heading one tags um, and your heading two tags are descriptive and reflect what's actually part of the content of your page um, so as I said they are vital uh, in improving your your search ranking so if we refresh this here you can see that our heading one is appearing in black text and it's automatically left aligned now what we want to do is we want to go and we want to create a rule for these to actually style them. So the styling for our heading one tags, and I'm going to go in and just type it straight in here. Um, these are what I call uh, their um, global. These are global styles. Uh, basically, they're going to cover the entire website. So I try and keep these to the top of my style sheet. Um, and we'll see later on I'm going to go in and tidy up everything and we're going to kind of compartmentalize everything so um, but this is going to be a global style so our heading one um, styles are going to come in just under the body so um, to style a heading one tag it's not an ID uh, so it doesn't need to have either a hashtag or a, a, a dot or a period um, so we can just go ahead and call it what it is. It's a H1. So we have our opening bracket and we have our closing bracket. Now, what we want to do is we want to define a font, a font family. And in order to do that, you just go ahead and type font. And again, the code hinting pops in here. So we have font family. And it gives you an option here of which ones to choose. Arial, Helvetica and Sans Serif is the one that I'm going to choose for this. Um, so that's that first rule set. The next rule is we want to align our text in the middle. So if we just go ahead and text align is the first option that comes up there. So we double click on that and then center. And the next option then is the color. And this is going to be our text color. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a kind of a dark gray color. I don't want our text to be green because then our site is just it's too green. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it a grey colour. It's not too dark but it's not too bright either. So we go ahead and select that and we put in the semicolon to finish it. And if we go back into the page you can see 
um, it's it's already applied the styling to our header. So we'll save that. Go on and save all. And um, what we'll do is we'll select our style sheet and then holding control we select our index index.php as well and we click on the blue button there to put them up and again we don't want to put up our dependent files so if we go into the browser and we refresh there's our heading so we'll go back to Dreamweaver now and the next thing we want to do is we want to add in our paragraph tags now again along with the heading tags there are actual shortcuts for this as well you can go ahead and you can add in your paragraph tag and again the second you hit your forward slash it automatically closes the paragraph tag for you um, or what you can also do is you can try press control shift and P and it'll create paragraph tags for you and again it'll automatically place the cursor in the middle for you so as I said I already have this website kind of done from before so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste in the textual content that I used for it so that's going to define our first paragraph then we put in another paragraph and we're going to put in a second the contact tent for our second paragraph uh, we paste it in there okay so if we click refresh again our text is it's it's quite small um, and as you can see there's gaps on each side so we want to define a couple of rules for for our text so again we'll go back into our style sheet and um, the first rule we want to define is we want to align the text so that it's it lines up square or justified so in order to do that again we're going to do it in our in the top of our um, style sheet in, in among our global styles so what we need to do and again this is neither a class nor an ID it's an actual paragraph tag so we're just going to do what we did with the heading one and um, just give it a, a call it what it is a P so the first one we want to do is we want to do our text align and again the same as with the heading tags it comes up and one of the options is to justify so that's our first parameter set now the next parameter we want is we want the color so what we can essentially do is just copy that and paste it in there and the next property we want is um, we want to give it a font size um, our font size by default is 16 but I'm just going to do it just for demonstration purposes here uh, just to see how easy it is to actually put it in as an actual size um, and the next thing we want to do as well is we want to copy the font family so we want the font family to be the same as our our heading one so we we'll paste that in there and um, the line height what I want to do is I want to kind of leave space um, between the lines so that they're not up on top of one another and in order to do that it's just a matter of giving it a, a line height property um, and because our text is 16 pixels high I don't want our line height to be 16 pixels as well because it'll read like they're quite on top of one another so I'm going to give it a line height of 22 pixels and um, that's the styling for our paragraph so if we go back to our main page you can see we've spaced out our paragraph text it's lined up against the right and the left edges it just looks more structured it looks neater um, it's given the same color as our um, heading text and it's also a larger font compared to what was there before so that's our style set for our paragraph tags so file and save all and what we do again is we we'll go back in and we we'll select and control and select our index and our style sheet and we'll put those to the server and um, we'll refresh the page here and we should have our textual content in now I know it doesn't look like there's a lot on the page as it stands but what I want to do is I want to add in an image here as well um, to come within our text so how we go about doing that um, is just after the heading tag here I want to put in an image um, and I have images in our 
in our um, images folder here already uh, and it's going to be this one here that I want to use it's just a small image so that's the one I want to appear on our page so in order to do that uh, we can just go ahead and do what we did before select the image and pull it across and we can give it an alternate uh, text and uh, what this is is the tenth T box so we're just going to call it the tenth T at Bertie's and again that's a descriptive for uh, people who have kind of a visual impairment or anybody who uses a screen reader um, so that's it done now if we refresh the page what's going to happen is the image is just going to show up directly underneath um, the heading so what we need to do is we need to give this um, define a class for it so what I'm going to do is we're going to give it a class of article image that's what we're going to call any images that we're inserting into our into our website so now what we need to do is we need to give this or create a style for this in our style sheet so uh, again this is going to be um, this is going to be one of our global styles so we can go ahead and because this was a class and not an ID this has to start with a period so it has to be period article image and again our opening curly brace and our closing curly brace now first thing we want to do is we want this image to float to the right so float and right and what that does is it'll, it'll throw the image over right up against the right hand border um, the next parameter we want to have is we want to give it a padding left so that the text isn't crushed right up against uh, the side of the image so so padding left and we give it a padding of 15 pixels and we'll close with a semicolon we want to give it padding on the bottom as well because again we don't want our image to be crushed up against the text underneath so if we give that padding of maybe five pixels and we close off with the semicolon and the last thing we want to do is we want to ensure that it's right up against the right hand border um, for our right content so we're going to give it a padding right of zero of zero pixels and if we save that and go back in here you can see that image has automatically lined up to the right of the text leaving a bit of room um, inside to the left and to the bottom of the image so that the text is wrapped around the image rather than the image been sitting between the header and the text so if we save that and again we do what we did the last time we select our style and we control select our index.php file and we will put both of them up to the server again and if we refresh the page oh we have our image lined up there and all inside of the text um, and what we should have done there really but I did it earlier on when we put up the entire site was we really should have selected the image as well and put it up but because I had it up already it didn't make any difference but if your page shows up that you don't have an image in it always make sure that you you put the image up um, when you were putting up the rest of the site so uh, that's our paragraphs pretty much sorted for that page so I think what we'll do is we'll call it a day for there and maybe in the next video what I'm going to do is we're going to add in uh, a YouTube video we're going to embed the YouTube video within and underneath the the text underneath the paragraph so talk to you again guys and don't forget to uh, subscribe and uh, drop us a like and if you have any comments or questions um, you can put them in and they in the uh, comment section below. Thanks. Bye.